Hello everyone, this is Friend of Medicare, and um, quick disclaimer before we get into today's video. I really want to ask a favor of you guys to stop making requests, because even though I haven't been getting comments lately saying, can you do this? I have been getting comments from people saying, I miss Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I miss Hasbun Hotel. And in all honesty, I think that's actually worse than you asking me, can you do this? Because then it just makes me feel sad that I'm not providing content at a proper time in a proper place when I cannot take requests. So please, for God's sake, I'm only asking this because it's really it's starting to get not even just downright annoying, but just downright depressing to, for me. Please stop asking that because it's making me really consider taking a break again. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to be reading this story. Um, but please just try and avoid asking me for asking me to keep. Just stop asking me for things whenever I cannot take the request. Because I really need to take care of myself first. That's A and B. Don't go commenting on people's videos saying you missed their old content. That is just really hurtful. Okay? Alright, now without further ado, this is a Steve Rogers X Shader fan fiction, and I'll. Bleh, goodness. Keep fumbling. This is a Steve Rogers X gender neutral reader, and the title is simply titled Fan Fiction. You were seated on the comfy couch that sat in the middle of the Avengers Tower. But, you, but what were you doing while you were sitting on the world's softest sofa, softest leather couch? Good question. You were reading some beloved fan fiction of Captain America, a.k.a. Steve Rogers himself. You had a bit of a small crush on the beautiful blonde boy, but you didn't think he was really interested in a relationship, let, al let, alone, let alone you. So you decided to indulge in some fan fiction. While it could be very questionable, some of the things you found online, you weren't totally opposed to it. Steve walked into the living room to see you sitting there, face buried into your phone slash tablet with the distinct blush on your skin-colored face. You okay, your name? You jumped up a little, causing him to drop your phone slash tablet. Steve, being the adoring gentleman that he is, he went to pick it up. You immediately freaked out and tried to cover the screen so I didn't see the words, but all you did was accidentally click on a fan art of Steve. The fan art was... Very flattering. The face Steve had on his face was so on his face was so priceless it probably would have made Tony cackle like a witch high on shrooms. Steve then handed the phone slash tablet back to you before leaning into your ear to whisper, "I'll talk to you about this drawing later." He then kissed your cheek and left you speechless. The end. Now, I know that this one was very short, and to be fair, the Zamasu X gender neutral reader is also incredibly short, but that is because I haven't had much time to write lately, so I plan on remedying that, but I also have another idea for another new character to add on to the channel. So, I will probably be writing for him next as a bit of a, you know, surprise, I guess. I don't know. Um... I think that this is me just getting into way too many phantoms, but either way, I will be going ahead and working on that new character next. I will not be providing any new hints because I feel as though that it would be fun to do the opposite. Besides, I think that hopefully someone on the channel enjoys it because it, it, I, I can't believe I haven't fallen for this character sooner. But anyway, I love you guys all so very much. Thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, it's a friend of mine, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.